Hallelujah. YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, everybody is here. Welcome. We are going to talk about the anointing. And I want you to know that you are anointed by God. Hallelujah. In the book of Jeremiah 1 verse 4, the Bible says, Then the word of God came to Jeremiah saying, Before I formed you in the belly, I knew you. Before you were born, I sanctified you. I ordained you to be a prophet to nations. Now I want to give you some keys that you know you are anointed by God. You are chosen by God. You are not an ordinary person. Hallelujah. The reason why you are going through many challenges it is because you are anointed. You are separated by God to serve the purpose of the kingdom of God. Hallelujah. The reason why you are going through rejection, it is because you are anointed by God. You are chosen by God to do His will. When God announces you, before He starts to use you, first thing God does is that God separates you from among men because of his purpose. You are superior than just anybody. You are not an ordinary person. You are a carrier of the presence of God. You are a carrier of the power of God. Hallelujah. You are a commission by God to do His will. Even your character will not be like them because you are different from them. You can face many challenges because you have chosen among men to be ambassador of Christ. Sometimes you can undergo rejection because you have something which others don't have. You have something unique. You have something that other people, they don't have. Because you are anointed by God. In the book of Hebrews 5 verse 1, the Bible says, You are set apart. You are anointed by God for the purpose of the kingdom. Hallelujah. You are above others in order to represent them to Yahweh. You are a person chosen from among men to be a representative of the will of God. You are anointed by God. You are grounded by the authorities of heaven. And what you are commissioned to do is not the will of men, but the will of God. Hallelujah. Therefore, in your life, you will always be going against others. Others, they go this way and you go this way. Hallelujah. You will always be going vice versa. When the waves go this way, you go this way. Because you are not going by the multitude, but you are going by the direction of God. You are not going by the multitude, but you are going by the direction of God. You are not directed by the voice of man, but you are directed 
by the voice of God. Hallelujah. The people around you cannot understand you because you are separated and you are set apart for the purpose of the kingdom of God. Hallelujah. It is very hard for the people to understand you. When they try to understand you, they get more confused. Hallelujah. What you need to know is that when you are anointed, you have supernatural power and you have the capacity to hold the things of God, but you don't have the capacity to hold the things of this world. Hallelujah. That is why you will find yourself isolated from others. Sometimes you will find yourself, you being alone, the announcing of God. Now you need to know and to understand the importance of the anointing in you. Hallelujah. Praise the name of God. You have to understand the importance of the anointing of God in you. Hallelujah. Let us read in the book of Isaiah 10, verse 27. In the book of Isaiah 10, verse 27. The Bible says, It shall come to pass in that day that his burden will be taken away from their shoulder and his yoke from their neck and the yoke will be destroyed because of the anointing. Hallelujah! The anointing can break yokes. The anointing can break chains. When you have the anointing of God, there is some situation that will bow because of the anointing. There are some chains that must break because of the anointing. There are certain doors that the anointing can open. There are certain doors that only the anointed people can open. Hallelujah! The anointing can attract both good people and the bad people. The anointing can attract friends and also can attract enemies. Hallelujah. The anointing can attract kings. The anointing can attract kings. The anointing can attract queens. The anointing of God. The anointing can attract prosperity. The anointing can attract money. The anointing can attract gold. The anointing can attract the diamonds. In the book of Isaiah 61, verse 1, the Bible says, the Spirit of the Lord is upon me because the Lord has anointed me to preach the good tidings to the poor. Hallelujah! He has sent me to heal the broken hearted. Hallelujah! Now, God has anointed you and also God has sent you to set the people free. The anointing that you have, it has the power to set the people free. It has the power to heal the broken hearted. It has the power to heal. It has the power to deliver. It has the power to bring change. It has the power to declare the victory of God. It has the power to praise people. 
it has the power to declare the presence of God. It has the power to bring change in the entire country. Hallelujah. When God announces you, you don't need the approval of men. When God announces you, you don't need the permission of men. Hallelujah. Because God has anointed you for his purpose. God has anointed you to be a representative of the kingdom of God. To be a representative of the will of God. To be a representative. To be the voice to the nation. God has anointed you to be the voice to the nation. God has anointed you, as the Bible says, he spoke to Jeremiah saying, I have anointed you, I have appointed you to be a prophet to the nation. Now God has anointed you to be a prophet to the nation. God has anointed you to call his presence to, to the nation. Hallelujah. You will walk in signs, miracle, and wonders because you have the anointing. You will walk in miracle, signs, and wonders because you have the anointing of God. Because the anointing of God is in you. Then you will walk in the life of victory. You will walk in the life of favor of God. Hallelujah. The anointing of God brings favor of God. There is favor of men, but now here I'm speaking about the favor of God. Now then I want us to understand that everybody is anointed in his unique way. You are anointed in your unique way. Hallelujah. As we read the Bible in the book of Kings, we say that in the book of First Kings, we realize that Elijah was anointed by God and his anointing was very dangerous. The anointing of Elijah was very, very dangerous. Hallelujah. There's those people who are anointed with the anointing, like the anointing of Elijah. That is why we discover that when Elijah faced his enemies, Elijah was commanding fire from heaven. And I say the truth, that Elijah stood in the anointing that has fire. Hallelujah. The anointing of Elijah was very strong, but also it was very, very dangerous. Hallelujah. That is when we discover that when Elijah was about to go to heaven, Elisha asked for his anointing and the bible says elisha received the double portion of elijah and after a while when elisha was walking remember the bible says there is those uh, boys there is those boys that were laughing at elisha because of the anointing of Elijah and this anointing of Elijah now we see that it is in double portion it was no need for him to speak but because of the anointing that he carried the giants came from nowhere and killed those boys the anointing hallelujah I'm speaking to somebody here I know by the Spirit of God that I'm speaking to somebody in this place. Hallelujah. Sometimes people can fight you. Let me tell you, they are not fighting you. They are fighting 
the announcing of God in you. And now let me tell you, leave them alone because the announcing will fight them back. The announcing that you have will fight them. You are very dangerous because of the announcing. You are very dangerous because of the announcing. No witchcraft can stand on your press. No witchcraft can stand in front of you because you are dangerous and because of the announcing then it makes you dangerous person when the witchcraft when the diviners and the evil people when they see you they see fire because of the announcing let me tell you if you have the announcing of god the announcing produce fire the announcing produce fire Remember during the time of Elijah, the anointing that was upon Elijah, it produced fire. Hallelujah. Every time Elijah was facing some trouble, he called fire. Every time Elijah was facing some challenges is called fire the anointing of Elijah hallelujah in the new testament we realize that the calling of John the baptist and the anointing of the John the baptist was to prepare the way for the messiah hallelujah And when Jesus came, the anointing of Jesus Christ was to save the world. The anointing of Jesus Christ was to save us. The anointing of Jesus Christ and the, his assignment was to save the mankind, was to save the world. Hallelujah. That is why when Jesus was walking, he was walking in miracles, signs, and wonders. Hallelujah. I want to pray for you. I want to speak against your situation now in the name of Jesus Christ. For those who are sick, now be healed in Jesus' name. For those who are sick, be healed in Jesus' name. Wherever you are sick now be healed in Jesus name every sickness go in the name of Jesus every sickness go in the name of Jesus the sickness of cancer go in the name of Jesus the sickness of cancer I command you to live now in the name of Jesus Christ every sickness in your blood be healed in Jesus name Every sickness in your blood, be healed in Jesus' name. Every sickness in your skin, be healed in Jesus' name. Every sickness in your blood, be healed in Jesus' name. 